Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. 佢哋睇緊邊個鐘同埋幾點呢? 你知唔知幾點啊? 唔好意思,我今日唔記得帶表。哦,我擔心我哋趕唔切上火車。咦,車站入口有個鐘喎。弊啦,火車五分鐘後就嚟啦。十點嘅火車,係咪?係啊,我哋快啲啦。佢哋睇緊邊個鐘同埋幾點呢? 一對男女喺度傾緊偈。佢哋睇緊邊個鐘同埋幾點呢? 你知唔知幾點啊? 唔好意思,我今日唔記得帶表。哦,我擔心我哋趕唔切上火車。咦? 車站入口有個鐘喎。弊啦,火車五分鐘後就嚟啦。好啊,他認識我㗎。識。佢見過你張相,應該認得你。噉佢咩樣㗎?佢有黑色攣頭髮,瘦瘦地,比平常人高啲噉咯。OK,仲有冇?佢話過會帶我上次送俾佢個頂
To read with just a quick glance and speak smoothly without thinking, you need to review. Here are our top five review tactics. Number one, listen to examples over and over again. By listening closely and often, you start to pick up the rhythm of a language, as well as correct pronunciation from a native speaker. Use our line-by-line -line feature that lets you both listen and read along. Use this tool to practice as much as possible. Number two, use our voice recording tool to master perfect pronunciation. Record yourself and compare it against the native speaker. If you sound different, then repeat after the native speaker until you're able to match them. Use our voice recording feature, which makes recording super easy. Number three, master your recorded conversations. Record conversations and go over them again and again. Master entire conversations and repeat them line by line. Use any of the dialogues available for download on our website. These come with transcripts of the entire conversation. Number four, use mobile devices to reinforce previously learned conversations. Constant review is the best way to progress in your language studies. Download the recorded dialogue to your mobile device and incorporate it into your music playlist. Quick reviews throughout the day effectively reinforce what you've learned. Number five, read with line-by-line -line notes. Read along with a native speaker to really master pronunciation and natural intonation. You should start slow at first, then slowly increase your speed. Your pronunciation will become more natural. You will also see that your ability to understand fluent speakers will greatly increase. You'll be able to improve your communication skills using these five simple review techniques. 他們首先會做什麼? 他們首先會做什麼? 好,然後夜晚我們去行街。Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. In this first lesson, you'll learn about the building blocks of the Cantonese pronunciation system that will help you in future lessons. As you're probably quite aware, Cantonese doesn't use an alphabetical writing system like English does. Instead, it uses characters that are comprised of parts that depict physical objects or abstract ideas. Literacy in Cantonese requires the memorization of thousands of components and characters. As you can see, this can be quite daunting for new learners of Cantonese. For example, if you were asked to pronounce this character, where would you even begin? You'll pick up the writing system eventually, but since we're focused on pronunciation, we need to skip them for now. We need to start dealing with the sounds of Cantonese without the baggage of characters, and that's where the Cantonese yutping comes in. Fa. Yutping is the transcription of Cantonese using Roman letters. This makes learning Cantonese much easier, particularly for English speakers. As you begin to learn more characters and improve in Cantonese, you'll eventually rely less and less on romanization. But for now, it's a good place to start.
Now, let's have a look at all the sounds in Cantonese. There are 22 consonant sounds and 7 vowel sounds. You can form every single word in Cantonese by using these sounds. Still seem complicated? Well, how about this? Of the 22 consonant sounds in Cantonese, you already know 21 of them. That's right. If you're a native English speaker, then you already make these sounds every day. You can also ignore five of the vowel sounds for the same reason. The only thing standing between you and perfect Cantonese pronunciation is two new vowel sounds and one new consonant sound. You can handle that. Now let me introduce Teddy, who will be helping you to master these new sounds. I Teddy. Throughout this series, Teddy will be giving you native pronunciation examples for you to imitate. But for this first lesson, just sit back and listen to the unique sounds of Cantonese. Go, ka, wa, kwa, mm, mm, ban, pa, da, to, jun, chun, a, he, yu. In the next lesson, we'll look at the top five pronunciation mistakes Cantonese learners make. You'll want to make sure not to fall into these common traps. After that, we'll start going through the vowels and consonants of Cantonese. This is your chance to learn how to correctly say all of the words you just heard. We'll finish up the series by covering some special topics that will really make your Cantonese sound natural. To close this lesson, here's a question for you. Why is it important to spend time on learning proper pronunciation, even if you're already an advanced speaker? The answer, you will be understood, and this will help you build more confidence as you communicate in Cantonese. For beginners, you're creating a strong foundation to build on. And for more advanced students, this is your chance to improve your accent and lose any bad habits you may have picked up. These are common mistakes that students of Cantonese tend to make. So pay close attention and make sure that you don't make these same mistakes too. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Number one, using the wrong tones. Most learners are not familiar with tonal languages like Cantonese. The meaning of a word can change if the pitch is changed, even if the pronunciation is the same. For people who do not speak a tonal language, some tones may sound nearly identical to them. This problem of perception is perhaps the most difficult part of learning a tonal language like Cantonese. Our lessons use a romanization system called Yutping, which is comprised of two components, pronunciation followed by a tone number. For example, ba. Ba, ba. As you can see, changing the pitch pattern, otherwise known as the tone, can have a huge impact on meaning. We'll have a look at all of the tones in Cantonese in Lesson 8. Number 2. Mixing up J and Y in the Yutping system. The Yutping romanization system is new to absolute beginners, and one of the most confusing aspects is the J consonant. Although it's represented as a J, it actually sounds like an English Y sound. So, whenever you see the letter J in Yutping, remember that it's pronounced as a Y sound. Yao, yi, yun. We'll cover this consonant sound in lesson four. Number three, pronouncing the final P, T, and K. Some Cantonese words end in a P, T, or K. Most English speakers pronounce the final P, T, and K like in English, releasing a strong burst of air. This is incorrect. The final P, T, and K are unreleased in Cantonese. This means that you must not release a burst of air when pronouncing this sound. It's as though you're cutting the sound off. Listen to Teddy. Ta, ta, stop. We'll take an in-depth look at final stops in Lesson 7. Number 4. Mispronouncing the C and Z consonants. The Cantonese C sounds a bit like a T-S sound, like in tsunami. But unlike with the traditional T-S sound in English, try to emphasize the T more than the S in Cantonese. Pronouncing it quickly may sometimes help with pronouncing the Cantonese C properly. Lastly, you want to release a burst of turbulent air when you're pronouncing this sound. The Cantonese Z is identical to the Cantonese C, except that you do not produce a burst of air. It sounds somewhere between a strong T-S or D-Z sound. Compare the sounds and listen to the differences. Zin, zau, ziu, qin, chau, qiu. We'll talk more about these two consonants in future lessons. Number five, confusing the N and L sounds in Cantonese. 
Learning a new language is stressful, especially when people start pronouncing words differently from what you expect or from what you've learned. Don't be surprised when you hear Cantonese speakers pronouncing the Cantonese N as an L sound. Nei, lei, nin, lin, no, lo. A similar case exists for the NG sound in Cantonese, except that this sound is sometimes omitted altogether. Listen to Teddy. Ngo, o, ngai, ai. This phenomenon is known as lazy tongue, and it's becoming more and more common in Hong Kong, particularly with the younger generation. This manner of speaking, however, is generally frowned upon. Stick with the Cantonese that you've learned. You'll still be able to communicate with everyone, even the younger crowd, so don't concern yourself with it too much. Now you know the top five Cantonese pronunciation mistakes to avoid. Try to be careful so that you don't make these same mistakes. Still feel a bit worried? Don't be, because over the rest of this series, we'll cover all of these topics in depth. In this lesson, you'll learn all the Cantonese vowels and their variant vowel sounds. A, e, i, o, u, e, u. With these sounds, you can pronounce any vowel that could possibly appear in Cantonese. Some vowels may be hard to distinguish, especially for English speakers, so make sure you listen carefully. Remember that memorizing and reproducing the sound is the goal. Don't get too frustrated if you forget when to use the variant sounds because that'll come naturally later. Are you ready? Then let's get started. The first vowel is a, uh, sa, ba, san. This is almost identical to the a sound in the word far. A, uh, a. Uh, Ah, uh, ah. Uh. The next vowel is e, be, fe, ze. This is similar to the e in bear. E, e. 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 The next vowel is e, c, t, z. It's identical to the i in ski. E, 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 e. The next vowel is o. Bo, fo, zo. It's identical to the O in or. However, there should be more of a vibration at the base of your throat. O, 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 o. The next vowel is U. Fu, gu, ku. It's identical to the U in the word true. U, 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 u. The next vowel is e, uh, he, the. This sound doesn't exist in English, but it's very similar to the U in the word fur. Be sure to compress your lips. Uh, 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 uh. The last vowel sound is U, Ju, Chu, 
to. This sound doesn't exist in English, but it's similar to the U in the word menu. First, try saying an E like C. Now try rounding your lips while pronouncing this sound. Listen to Teddy. E. 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 Well done. You've just learned all the vowel sounds in Cantonese. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Cantonese pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to the manner in which a word is spoken. So don't focus on reading what's on screen. Instead, focus on listening and repeating. Let's start by pointing out that Cantonese doesn't use an alphabetical writing system like English does. Instead, it uses characters that are comprised of parts that depict physical objects or abstract ideas. Literacy in Cantonese requires the memorization of thousands of components and characters. This can be quite daunting for new learners, but don't worry, you don't have to know the writing system right away. We can start learning Cantonese with the romanization system built for learners. This is called... Yudping. Yudping is the transcription of Cantonese using Roman letters. It makes learning Cantonese much easier, particularly for English speakers. As you begin to learn more characters and improve in Cantonese, you eventually rely less and less on romanization. But for now, it's a good place to start. That's right. There are 22 consonant sounds and seven vowel sounds in Cantonese. You can form every single word in Cantonese using these sounds. We've made an ultimate Cantonese pronunciation guide video series for you guys. This series explains the consonant and vowel sounds in detail. We will link to this at the end of this introduction to pronunciation lesson. But before you do that, we'll tell you just how easy Cantonese can be. Now for a quick history lesson. Do you know how long Hong Kong has been a British colony? That's a trick question. Hong Kong's territory was actually acquired from three separate treaties, first in 1842, then 1860, and lastly in 1898. So most people would say 99 years. This is the time frame during which the UK had control of what is now the Hong Kong region. Although the sovereignty of Hong Kong was returned to the People's Republic of China by the United Kingdom in 1997, English remains one of the official languages of Hong Kong. They're mostly terms for items that were imported or cultures that started in the Western societies. Jinho, can you name a few for us? Of course. Let's see if you can guess what they are before we give you the English translation. Basi, Salut. Now here are the answers. Tell us how many you guessed right. Basi, bus. Salut, salad. Sido, store. Teleji, cherry. Jerksi, jazz. Sofa, sofa. It's a nice surprise to find out that for some terms, Cantonese-speaking people can communicate together with English-speaking people, even without knowing the other language. Exactly. So if you are an English speaker, you already know something like 10% of the Cantonese language. Okay, now in this section, we're going to talk about what most learners find the most difficult, the Cantonese tones. Unless you already know another tonal language like Vietnamese or Thai, the Cantonese tones can seem totally bizarre to you. In Cantonese, pitch accent is super important. That's right. A word's meaning could be different depending on the tone that's pronounced. You definitely don't want to mix up mother and horse, for instance. <laughs> yes, that would be a funny mistake. In Cantonese, mother is ma and horse is ma. Imagine someone introducing his mother to you by saying, this is my horse. So you can see how incredibly important it is to learn all the tones in Cantonese. But don't worry, there are only six tones. Can you demonstrate all of them for our learners? Of course. C, 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 C. Can you distinguish the different tones? Jinho, can you please say them again and a bit slower this time? C, C, C. C, C, C. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learned about the Cantonese romanization system. And we learned that Cantonese words can sound very similar to their English equivalent due to the Western influence while under British rule. Lastly, we learned a bit about the six Cantonese tones. 
The question for this lesson is, what are tones? Many Cantonese learners find the tones confusing because the intonation in Cantonese is very different from most of the other languages. Tones is the use of pitch to distinguish meaning. Each Chinese character comes with a tone, and it is important to pronounce Cantonese correctly because there are so many words that come with the same Yuping spelling. If a person doesn't pronounce the tone right, a listener may get something completely different from what they actually meant to say. Let's get into more details. How many tones are there? There are six tones in Cantonese. The first tone is high and steady. C, C. The second tone starts with a low pitch and rises to a high pitch. C, C. History. The third tone is a mid tone. It's pronounced in the middle of your range and it is steady. C, C to try. The fourth tone is the lowest tone. C, C, time. The fifth tone is another rising tone. It starts low then rises to the middle of your range. C, C, city. Lastly, the sixth tone is low and steady, but not as low as the fourth tone. C, C, is. Do tones really matter? It's not only important, but crucial to master the different tones in Cantonese. Just like how mispronouncing a sound or misreading a character can have a huge impact on meaning. Using the wrong tone can drastically change the meaning of the word or sentences too. For example, Ma in the first tone means mother, while Ma in the fourth tone means linen, and Ma in the fifth tone means horse. Don't get them mixed up. About the 10 hardest words to pronounce, and obviously, I can't pronounce anything now. 10 hardest words to pronounce in Cantonese. All right, let's start. Tang. It's, it means orange, but some people might find it difficult because the N has a little NG, so it's a, na a bit of nasal sound. Chang, Chang. And I'll say Chang, I eat an orange. Nan, it's not. Nan, it means difficult and it's difficult to pronounce. So it starts with N and ends with another N. Nan, and it's in a low tone, so Nan. Practice and you can get there. Gongdonghua nan. Cantonese is not difficult. Bui zhe, bui zhe is the back. Bui zhe, oh bui zhe, hou tong. My back is in pain. Bui zhe, zhe, bui zhe. Chang chang is long chang. Chang tao fa, chang. And it ends with another ng. So chang. Chang. So, Sang is to want, to think. Sang. It ends with another NG. Sang. Sang. Ngo. 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 Sometimes we get lazy and we just say Ngo. O. O. Like O. O sound. Instead of NGO. O. Ngo. Or O. Can you tell the difference? I'm starting to sound like a goose. No, hey, Olivia. I'm Olivia. Sun Tai. Sun Tai is the body. Sun is like sun in the sky. Sun Tai. Sun Tai Kin Hong. To have good health, like good body, healthy, healthy body. Yuck. Yuck is medicine. That's something you need when your when your Sun Tai is not healthy. Yuck. Ben Zhao Zhe Yu said, Yuck. When you're sick, you have to take medicine. Zap to incorporate. Zap. Don't pronounce it like Zap. Hong Kong hold on Dai Zap too. There are a lot of large corporates in Hong Kong. Fu Fu is bitter. Maybe it's the second tone that's hard to pronounce. Like Fu. It's kinda like when you ask is the parking lot full? <laughs>